Hi, good morning. This is Sri Ram. Here I am trainer for Hadoop and Data Science. Uh, today, like uh, I am going to explain you about what is the importance of Hadoop. Even though we have a lot of data, data processing systems are there, so what is the need of Hadoop? What is big data? So such kind of discussions I am going to do. See Hadoop. In fact, Hadoop is not any database. Is not an operating system. Is simply a framework, a framework for big data, so which is used for big data and analytics. So within the word only the meaning is there. What exactly the big data? One thing, big data means huge volumes of data. But how much huge volume is big data? Generally, what the traditional databases or existed databases could not able to store and process it. That much biggest volume is called as big data. Not only big volume, big data is talking about more complex data also. Suppose if you take uh, unstructured data to process, to process that unstructured data, not simple algorithms are not enough. That al that data is uh, demanding more complex algorithms to process or analyze. Even the volume is small, we can treat that complex data which is unstructured. That is also as a big data. See, Hadoop purpose is that one: performing analytics over big data. But if you talk about the analytic softwares, already market has a great uh, software toolkit, like uh, such as uh, SPSS, SPSS, even R language nowadays, which is rising, and even Python has a lot of modules like Panda, Scikit, Scikit-Learn. Such kind of uh, modules are there in Python, which are especially des designed for uh, analytics and data science. Even MATLAB, such kind of softwares are there. So even though these softwares are existed in the market, what is the need of Hadoop? Okay, why we need a powerful mission like powerful uh, another framework? That is, these softwares basically software point of view, or these are capable of playing any algorithm, any analytics related, any predictive analytics related. All the algorithms are already available, but these cannot deal huge volumes of data. A single data set contains MBs of data, then this is good. good. But a single data set, which is input file, if it contains like MBs of data, like um, multiples of MBs or multi GBs of data, when you run some uh, when you run some process, the processing time will be like uh, even hours time. Even some processes may take even days of time. See, that's why again these softwares are taking uh, to store and process. These are uh, taking help of uh, RDBMS, which is uh, relational database management systems. There are so many popular RDBMS softwares are existed in market, such as uh, Oracle, DB2, SQL Server. In this way, so many. But these databases can be used as OLTP databases, like online transaction processing, and also data warehouse where you keep your historical data and you will analyze it later. But these databases are good only for OLTP. Not for the warehouse because nowadays the organizations are getting too much volumes of data. Even terabytes, some of the organizations are getting multi terabytes of data per day. So we cannot store into them and we cannot process it with the effective speed. So this is what the problem. That's why there are so many other databases also came into the picture, which are especially designed for data warehouse or analytics only. So those popular databases examples which are used for the warehouse is Teradata, Netija, and Vertica. But these are good for TBs of data. That to less than 200 TB you can use them. Still data is more than that one. Then Hadoop came into picture. So Hadoop is able to store any amount of volumes. And even though data is structured or unstructured, is able to process with high grade speed. Okay, this is what our advantage of Hadoop system. But before uh, we enter into this Hadoop technicals, even up to now, we store our data into RDBMS. We process it from RDBMS. Even though these databases are existed, what is the need of uh, one more system, one more framework? So first of all, we have to understand what are all the existed problems in RDBMS. Why this RDBMS? What are the problems of RDBMS for big data? Big data. Okay, that problems we will discuss. See here, like majorly three problems I'm going to highlight here observe there are three different queries here sales one table so RDBMS table means that is purely structured okay to understand easily I am taking like a structured data example 
for suppose like uh, the first one select sum of amount from sales that means what we are expecting we are expecting the total sales value and second query same thing same sum algorithm we are applying but table we are changing and third query select sum of amount from sales 3 so there are three different queries on three different tables of course purpose of each table is same and we are computing what is the total sales but here table to table different volumes are there assume like that suppose first table is having thousand records second table one lakh records and third table one crore records so when you run these three different queries definitely the first one is very faster because very less data you have only thousand records suppose first record has a first query has taken one minute time to process it the second one will take like approximately 100 minutes of time third one may take like multiple hours of time so of course nowadays like one crore records is not a big deal think that the sales tree is having like a two terabyte or three terabyte of volume in such case if you apply some query on that particular table the processing time may be even daytime also more than a daytime so that means here one one thing we can understand we have three tables table to table data volume is increasing that's why when you run the query okay as table volume data volume is increasing the processing uh, time is also increasing that means speed is decreasing that is what the first problem with the rdbms as volume increases the speed will be decreasing and second thing observe the second another three queries i have stated here one is uh, select sum of amount from sales and second query average on the same table i am not changing the table here and third one which is standard deviation which is statistical function on the same table sales so in all these three cases table volume is constant thousand records thousand records thousand records but step to step different functions are being applied some average standard deviation like that see in these three cases the sum is very fast because when I come for the second one which is average in order to calculate that average separately sum to be computed and separately that uh, count to be computed again uh, sum divided by count on such way the process will happen so that means when compared with some some additional process is required but when you come to the when you come to standard deviation a lot of internal process is required to generate that one that means here not only the table volume the data volume is not, not only that one is controlling your speed the complexity of your algorithm is also controlling your speed think that the table is having one terabyte or two terabyte on such table big volume if you apply standard deviation kind of a function the processing time will be too much so this is another problem of the rdbms and uh, one more situation here the third important point is rdbms is able to process or analyze a certain varieties of data that means only structured data it is able to analyze and if data volume is unstructured of course rdbms is able to store unstructured data like images your unstructured text audios videos anything is able to store data but problem is but it cannot analyze the content of that unstructured one simple example here suppose i am taking a reviews table an organization is offering uh, different uh, input forms like uh, user uh, user forms they are asking like whether you satisfied about this product or service like this suppose if user satisfied he will click on like button if not satisfied he will uh, click on dislike button the thing that whenever he said like like uh, one is recorded when you say dislike zero is recorded like this think that in this way like dial in some thousand reviews you are getting so end of the day your management interested like uh, how many users are satisfied how many users are not satisfied in order to understand the satisfaction level of the organization so simply now if you observe this data the data is into two columns with some thousand or ten thousand rows whatever it may be data is cleanly structured if it is cleanly structured or dbms is very effective to process it of course if it is small small volume again if it is big volume too much processing time but at any cost slow or speed rdbms is able to process it see here i am applying simply a query select review comma count of star from reviews group by review 
okay this is what uh, a simple query rdbms will give you such kind of output so that you can easily understand 98% of customers are satisfied some 2% of customers are not satisfied you can understand for example i am taking a review the reviews are in like a comma the reviews are commented like this not like or dislike the reviews are uh, commented in own customer style suppose it is a review about some food product which is biryani observe this one like uh, user one he is saying that biryani taste is good user two taste is good but smell is bad in this way each comment has its own format each comment has its uh, own format okay so now in this case like how to analyze that kind of unstructured content so it can rdbms is able to perfectly store it but it could not able to analyze it properly so that is what the problem of uh, rdbms see in order to analyze in order to calculate sentiment of the user different nlp algorithms have to be used natural language processing okay java is supporting nlp algorithms even python is supporting powerful nlp algorithms like with name nltk tool could tool kit like that okay we need to apply such kind of algorithms and we need to process the data so rdbms the basic select statements are incapable of dealing such kind of things so that means rd where rdbms good is rdbms is good for structured data but if data is unstructured like text image audio video such kind of things rdbms cannot do even image audio video we can store into rdbms we can retrieve them but it cannot analyze uh, suppose like uh, you can store your photo you can retrieve that photo but you cannot query what is the shirt color of your photo and you cannot question the rdbms do you know this person okay so such kind of things we cannot do so this is another problem with the rdbms that means simply we can uh, title this problem all varieties of data cannot be processed by rdbms whatever the problems we discussed here in rdbms these uh, same these disadvantages turned as advantages into the hurdle so that means we have solution for all these three different problems see hadoop advantages if you talk about hadoop advantages the first fundamental promise given by this hadoop is unlimited data storage because industry is facing